Well, Zip, I think we've got everything in order here on our Missouri farm. I think we're looking really good. But, you know, the one thing that a lot of people don't realize is, is being able to cheat the deer's nose. And sometimes it's as simple as watching the weather. Well, it, the wind, right? That's, that's A number one. one right? Yep, then, A number one. Use the wind. Mm -hmm. and, and most people will use the wind just on their stand site. But truth of the matter is, you end up ruining your hunt before you ever get to your stand if you don't pay attention to the wind and where it's blowing as you approach the stand. You ought to have at least three different approaches to every tree stand so that you know that your wind is not gonna be going into bedding areas or feeding areas so that you're able to get in there as stealthy as possible and as quiet. Now, not only does wind with the weather affect it, but the barometer affects it. Now, I know everybody's had that morning where the wind was wrong, the deer were downwind from you, and they never smelled you. And you're trying to figure out what happened. I can tell you what happened. The barometric pressure in how thick or heavy the air is to how thin it is. High pressure, thin air. Low pressure, heavy air. Low pressures generally mean more moisture in the air, and the more moisture in the air there is, the more molecules that uh, your scent can be attached to so they're getting a greater concentration of molecules as they breathe in. So low pressure days, rainy days, stuff like this, that is when you're at your worst and biggest disadvantage to a whitetail's nose. But on the other side, when you have a high pressure in, cool weather, the barometer's on the rise, you get to cheat the deer's nose. You can be at a stand, as that air rises, it takes your scent up with it. Instead of spreading it down all around with a low pressure, it takes it up and moves it a long way from the stand. So look at your barometer. If you have a stand that's, that's really difficult to beat a deer's nose in, you may not have as many open variables with right. that stand. Wait till you have a really big high pressure and a super high barometer, and you can cheat that whitetail's nose. That's your Thompson Center tip from the boys at Drop Zone.